Okay, it's Mr. Bass, and this is part two of my jigs box. And I actually have two full jig boxes down there. So I've here's the second box right here, completely full. And I've got more where that came from. Now, one thing that I did want to kind of let you know is this little experiment where I'm going through and sharing with you my moving boxes does not include my tackle trays. Uh, you know, my tackle boxes that are already have baits in them. It would take me forever to go through all those. All I'm going through are the moving boxes and most of those baits are spares, backup baits, that kind of thing. I've already got my tackle boxes on my boat that I use all the time. So just let me give you an example here. I'm going to show you a ton of jigs today, but what I'm not going to show you are all the jigs in my tackle boxes. See, loaded with spider jigs. I actually have some spider jigs in, in, in there, so you will see some of those today. Football jigs, jig, jig jigs, more jigs, Big jigs, flipping jigs, more spider jigs, finesse jigs, chatter baits, vibrating jigs, more chatter baits, vibrating jigs, flipping jigs. <laughs> I, when I say I'm not scratching the surface in these videos, I'm not scratching the surface. I'm just showing you what I packed in my shipping boxes, my moving boxes. That's what we're going to go through today and throughout this series. So this is jig box number two. Okay, let's start with the grunt. This is by Thunderhawk Lures, and this is a great little finesse jig. It's three-eighths of an ounce, and last year when I got these, they only came in three-eighths of an ounce. I don't know if they've changed that or not, but I've got... A ton of these and a ton of different colors and I'll show you this color here is called Mississippi Craw. Here's their black and blue. Olive Chartreuse Gray. I'm gonna show you a couple of these just because one thing I, I can say is that Mike Dove, the guy that runs Thunderhawk, he creates and designs all these baits and these color schemes. These are his creations and they're pretty darn unique. Really, look at the head shape on this little jig. It's a great skipping jig for as small as it is. It has a tiny fiber weed guard. It has a tiny hook, but it's super sharp. And it's pretty stout for the size of this. And then of course, it's got this uh, wire uh, keeper for your trailer. All of these jigs have a little bit of flash of boo in them as well. Silicone skirting, but they got a lot of flashaboo. I really, this was kind of like my favorite new jig last year or the year before when they came out. I just, I fell in love with these things. Plum, green pumpkin red. Bone is one of my favorite colors, so I'll show that one to you. There's your flashaboo. Really, really nice bone color. Little touch of orange underneath. The head. You notice too they have recessed eyes on all these little grunt jigs. It's just a very cool looking little jig and they make a trailer for this called the Camel Craw Junior I believe and when I go through my soft plastics I've got a bunch of Camel Craws that I'll show you. Gray Shad is another one of his unique colors. In fact you'll notice that uh, Thunderhawk Lure seems to have a lot of original colors. And uh, this one is definitely one of those. A little orange underneath, bunch of white on the belly, and then it goes kind of gray and blue strands. And uh, there's a little blue on the head there, the top of the head there. That's called Gray Shad. This is Gobi. And again, his Gobi is like no other goby you've seen out there. It has a dark green head, silver eye with a black pupil, 
and then the belly portion are kind of pearlescent skirt and then he's got like a green pumpkin almost on the top strands and there's also a little bit of kind of uh, almost pro blue pearl strands in there so the goby that goby is very unique and the last color I have of the grunt is called purple grass just a couple of strands of purple it's a very light chartreuse it's kind of like a watermelon red I guess but it's it, the green the grassy color is lighter than I normally would expect with watermelon but it's just got a few purple strands in it not many at all and then a dark head that's purple grass all right the next jig I want to share with you is the Jewel Baits Pro Spider jig and of all the jigs I own this one is the jig that I throw the most with that dirty jigs come in kind of close to a tie so usually if I'm throwing a jig just on a daily basis it's going to be one of these spider jigs or it's going to be that dirty jig flipping jig and uh, I've got tons and tons of these and I'm not exaggerating I've gone way overboard on this but you can see in this box alone just the whole bottom is nothing but spider jigs I showed you this earlier chalk full this is what I keep in my boat I have two sizes that are kind of my go-to sizes 5 16 to me is the perfect size and that's the one that I throw most of the time and then I have a 7 16 that I throw as well now Jewel Baits in my opinion uh, they're one of the best jig companies out there and that's really what they're famous for is making jigs and for quite a while I was subscribing to their jig box it's called uh, tool fish tools I believe and if you want to see what fish tools looks like you can click on the link above on the video above and see some of my unboxing videos of their fish tools box it's awesome they come in a ton of different colors this is peanut butter and jelly and it's one of my go-to colors this is what it looks like out of the box and uh, you know it's just a very nice PB&J uh, I will tell you a few things about uh, the Eakins jig uh, their silicone skirts uh, they have a rubber banded skirt that has uh, two holes for rattles uh, it's a ball head jig and you can see the line tie where it comes out there and then it has a wire weed guard which is kind of what makes this unique so this uh, jig is a really general purpose jig but it's kind of a light line jig in that it has uh, it doesn't have a stiff weed guard all this wire is fairly stout and will get you through a lot and then it, and then the hook itself is an O'Shaughnessy bend and that bend really gives you right in the roof of the mouth most of the time penetration and then the uh, the trailer keeper is just a typical little nub there this one is the uh, peanut butter smoke and it has just like these kind of gray strands in it which probably doesn't matter a whole lot but you know these kind of colors just they kind of suck the fishermen in and uh, I've caught a lot of fish on both these colors and then uh, this one is called hot peanut butter I think and it's got just some red it's basically the PB and J but instead of the purple strands it's got red strands and I do throw this one a lot as well they got the green pumpkin candy flash and it is it's just a sparkly green pumpkin with some purple a couple of purple strands green pumpkin candy flash some of these lakes you go to it seems like the candies uh, do really well and when I'm on one of those lakes like one of the lakes that candy seems to do really well is Gunnersville I usually throw this out at Gunnersville this this color candy color next black and blue flash and uh, mostly black strands in this thing with some blue flecks in it and then uh, the flash is they have some blue strands sprinkled in don't know how well those blue strands show up in there but black blue flash is a nice one 
their Texas craw is really nice as well. Brown and black, you know. How can the, how can you go wrong with a brown and black jig? Nice color. But if you're like Gerald Swindle and you just throw nothing but brown jigs, that's your thing. Well, they got a solid brown. That's all this is. Brown, baby. This one's fairly unique. It's called Green Pumpkin Green Flash. And it's just a flashy green pumpkin. Got a lot more bling on it than the plain green pumpkin. And a Missouri Jig Company has to have a Missouri Craw color. This is the classic Missouri Craw. When you hear someone say Missouri Craw, that's what it should look like. This one's called Green Gourd Orange. And it's really just a dark green pumpkin with some orange strands. I'm telling you, if you've never tried a jewel jig, go get you a few. You will not be disappointed, I promise you that. They're great, great jigs. Okay, this one I don't throw very often, but this is the Pro Spider jig as well. It's in their smallest size. It's very small, 3 16ths of an ounce. I just got three packs of these. They're all brown, good little jigs. Let's stick with jewel baits as well. I've got a few more jewel jigs that I had not fished before until I got my fish tool subscription. And then I was like, dang, I love these. Why haven't I tried these before? So I got several of these tactical flipping HD jigs. And this is a much beefier flipping jig. It only comes in one size as far as I know. It's 11 sixteenths. So close to that like three quarter ounce you know eight sixteenths is a half uh, so these are eleven sixteenths and uh, they're really really cool flipping jigs and the shape of the head is unique so let me show you that here she is in her glory this color is green pumpkin candy And you can see the head, you know, that is a very, that's a great shape for a heavy duty flipping jig that you're going to pitch or flip into super thick cover. It's got a beefy, beefy uh, line tie, a very stout fiber weed guard. And the hook is not very, you know, it's not like this big massive five aught hook. But that bad boy is not going to bend out on you. It is stout. And then, like all the other uh, jewel jigs, it's got the uh, rattle band on there. But to me, I think for certain situations, flipping and pitching into really heavy color cover, this is a really cool jig. The tactical flipping jig. HD for heavy duty. I think the last jewel jig I have here in the box is this Pee Wee football head jig. And again, this is another one that I didn't know anything about, but it's pretty freaking cool. 7 sixteenths of an ounce, so just slightly smaller than a half ounce. But it is super finesse. It kind of reminds me of those Kitech. Uh, Pro model jigs that I was showing you guys in the previous video. In fact, I think I got one of those sitting right here. I mean, this kind of shows you how they compare in size, in hook size, and you can you can see that O'Shaughnessy bend even on the little Pee Wee football jig, and of course it has a wire weed guard. This is the PB and J color. Man, those things are just awesome. And, and I will say their football jigs are great. Uh, I'm not going to show you any here because I don't have any in packages, but I've got tons of them in my football jig box. But Jewel Baits makes some great jigs. Okay, I got a couple of Venom brush jigs. And I've never thrown these, but I got them just in case. Then I got some old school jigs that are probably discontinued. I haven't seen them in forever. Uh, these are by... Uh, they're called the Jig X. And this is half ounce. It's called Cayuga Craw. Got three Cayuga Craws. I'm just about out of these. And then uh, 
black and blue. What's interesting about these is they come with rattles and this is the shape of the head and it has a pretty big skirt and a pretty stout hook on it. So just another flipping jig. Speaking of old school, scrounger jigs. Yeah, I've got some. The scrounger still works. Uh, it's not it's not dead, but there's not a ton of guys that throw it anymore. And you can see I've had these a long time. They're kind of the the cup on this scrounger head is kind of yellowing, starting to yellow. If you don't know what a scrounger head is, that's it. It's basically a jig, typical jig. They have these uh, clips on them. But what makes it special is this big old plastic head. And normally you're gonna throw this in colder water, normally. Although guys have been throwing really big scrounger heads in the springtime down on the ledges like at Kentucky Lake and places. Scrounger, and speaking of scrounger, I've also got a couple of these. These used to come pre-packaged when the Hibdens were really big. They're, you know, they've, you don't hear the Hibdens so much anymore, but Lucky Strike made these scrounger heads with a little swim bait on the back like a fluke. They were called the Scrounger Shads. Okay, I've got one J. Lee comeback jig, that's all. Interesting. Here's another cool jig that I got for, I wanted a little more compact finesse uh, jig while I was at a tournament, I think Table Rock or somewhere, and I just bought these in a local tackle store. These are by Greenfish Tackle, and they're just a, a heavy duty, small, uh, jig. This color is called Baxter Blue Craw. Skipping and pitching jig, hand tied skirts. Pretty cool. Okay, I've got one 3 8 ounce jig from One Cast Fishing. This is a football head jig, 3 8 of an ounce. Pumpkin spice is the color. It's the only one I have. I probably got this in a monthly subscription box. Be my guess. I've done a video on some of these before. This guy, uh, he makes some pretty good stuff. Pig jigs. You got the poison tail jig and the dredger jig. I'll show you what they look like. Poison tail and the dredger. This one's three eighths. That's quarter. This one's called the gill. And this one with purple in it is called June Pumpkin. I got a ton of these, but there are only three in this box, which means I've still got jigs somewhere that I don't know where they're at. The Bitsy Bug. Man, these Bitsy Bug Strike King jigs are the real deal, guys. And when you know they should be hitting a jig and you just can't get them to bite a jig, break out these little Bitsy jigs and give them a try. You'll be amazed at how well they work. I think this is my only Guggen bait in the whole box, in both boxes. This is the Guggen Squad Juicy Jig, there, casting jig, green pumpkin, 5 aught hook. All right, how about some hair jigs? Um, some of these, I got no idea why I even bought them. Like, take these, enormous. I just don't know of a situation bass fishing where I would use these. Can't even remember why I bought these. Probably ledge fishing these would work. Kentucky Lake, Pickwick Lake. These giant uh, hair jigs might do well there. Maybe the St. Lawrence River. Speaking of the St. Lawrence River though, I bought some hair jigs that when I went to the St. Lawrence River because Everybody and their brother knows about Andy's uh, custom lures and the fact that Edwin Evers won, I don't remember what tournament it was, uh, by throwing Andy's custom lures. 
So they're all hand tied and they're pretty awesome. And I'm going to show you all the ones that I have. I've got, I've got several different types. This one you put on a drop shot and it really doesn't have any weight because your drop shot lure is your weight. That was kind of like a green pumpkin. This is another drop shot that's more brown with some orange in it. Here's a black one. And I throw a lot of black hair jigs when I'm down at the St. Lawrence. Got a lot of those. That one, that one. Now this one here is not a drop shot. It's actually got a hook in it. If you look right there, you can see the hook right there. And this is black. And this is fox. I got several of those fox leech. Black fox leech is what they call it. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen of those. And here's uh, a sixteenth of an ounce. Andy's Pro Series Marabou Jig. I think this one might have been the one that Edwin Evers was throwing. Could be wrong. It might be. It might be these that I actually have his picture on. <laughs> uh, the, these are synthetic. These are the E-Series. So they created an E-Series jig after he won. Uh, it's got an eighth of an ounce on there. It's black. I got one... I got a bunch of them here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of Edwin Evers. And then I got a bunch more of these black and the 16th ounce, the Marabou. Uh, oh, here's one that's bare hair. So let me show you that one. Not that you can probably tell. These are all Marabou with an eighth ounce jig head in them. Here's one. Only got one that has bear hair. You can see it's a lot more spiky and prickly than like marabou. Marabou's much more soft and cuddly than bear hair. Kind of cool. Here's another hair jig that I like quite a bit. Cumberland Pros Lures. I don't know what they call this little guy, but I really like it. And I got a bunch in white. One, two, three, four, five. And then I got a bunch in my tackle box. And then I've got a bunch of these as well that are black and orange. Same deal. Cumberland Pro Lures. Another hair jig. It's like I've only got one of these Kalen Marabou jigs. Chartreuse, quarter ounce. A couple of bucktail jigs from... VMC. These are 3 8 ounce. The color is called Fathead. I've got one of these Ocean Logic hair jigs. And I got a couple of these Bucktail Spro half ounce jigs. This color is Bunker. Okay, a buddy of mine, uh, Joe Lee, turned me on to Finch Nasty Lures. They make some great bladed jigs, and I thought I would try out their Universal Swim Jigs. These are super heavy, though. They're half ounce. I do like the color Natural Shad, but I rarely throw such heavy swim jigs. All right, I like to fish the Mississippi River, and why not have a swim jig that has Tom Monsoor's name on it, the King of swim jig fishing, especially on the Mississippi River. And this is a quarter ounce swim jig designed by Tom Monsoor. He makes mostly all of his own stuff now, but you gotta make some money, right? So this little quarter ounce, this clear shad color, I think is really cool. They're all the same. I really like them. I also love nickel swim jigs. And most of my swim jig, nickel swim jigs, are in my swim jig box. But I do have a couple that are still in the package. The Sabre swim jig. These are this one here is uh, 3 8 ounce. 
This is quarter ounce. This is called bombshell shad. And this one is called bluegill. One thing I like about them is they have a hole slot in the head where you can put your trailer in and then they you drive a toothpick through your trailer to keep it on. They always give you a couple of toothpicks as well. Next is the Booyah Mobster Swim Jig. And I got turned on to these when, who else? I think Chris Jones's name. He's one of the guys that designed these and he came in like second place on the classic a couple of years ago. And uh, this is what he was using most of the time. So I bought several and I think it's a cool design. It has a mouse head design. You can see that mouse head, very prominent head. And uh, their colors are really, I really like them. This is white. This is white and chartreuse. They call this color shorty small. Got several shorty smalls. This one is a bluegill color. They call it Tommy Gun. And I think it might be their best color yet. I got several of those. I've also got several black and blues and other colors, but they're out of their package, so you won't see those. All right, who, you can't have a swim jig collection without having some six cents swim jigs, the divine swim jig. And this color is called sexified shad. Half ounce is a little too big. This is much better for me, quarter ounce. This is called dark water gill. And this is Cajun blue gill. Very cool. This here though would probably be my go-to color, thread fin shad. Quarter and three eighths, it's about as big as I want to go. And then I got several uh, more of those thread fin and a half ounce lavender shad. I like that little, little sexy purple in there. And of course, there's a the sexified shad again. So the six cents divine swim jigs, not bad. Okay, I've only got one of these. This You could swim this. They call this the Stalker Casting Jig or the Cast Stalker Jig by Kalins. This is black and blue. Three-eighths of an ounce. It's the only one I've got. And I've also got some of these hybrid jigs from Six Cents, the Divine Hybrid Jig. Okay, we're getting close. I literally think I've gone through all the jigs. The only thing I haven't gone through yet are bladed jigs. And I think I'm going to turn that into a third video, the bladed jig video. So that, that's the jig boxes, both of them in all their glory. If you haven't seen the first video, please go check it out. I'll put a link to it here so that you can watch the first one. And then, of course, you've already watched the second one. I hope this was helpful, fun, and enjoyable. If so, please smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not a subscriber. I would greatly appreciate it. And share the videos with your friends and enemies. That helps a ton. Thanks again for your support, and I hope you have a great day. And until next time, happy jig fishing!